Hi, and welcome to Inclined Planes. Today in this physics lesson, we're going to look at how to determine force of an object sliding down an inclined plane, and how to use that force to figure out that object's acceleration. Let's take a look at this diagram and this problem. So here we're asked, what is the acceleration of the box down the frictionless inclined plane in the diagram? And we see a diagram where we have an inclined plane at 30 degrees to the horizontal, a box with a mass of 20 kilograms, and our value of g, acceleration due to gravity, which is always a constant 9.8 meters per second squared. So let's see what we have to calculate in order to figure out the acceleration of this box down the plane. So first, to figure out acceleration in this direction, we need to find force in that direction. In the equation that we will always use when you're looking for the force of an object sliding down an inclined plane will be mg sine theta. m being the mass of the object, g your acceleration due to gravity, and theta the angle of your inclined plane. In this case, if we plug in our values, we have 20 times 9.8 times the sine of 30 degrees. If we know our unit circle well, then we know that the sine of 30 degrees is going to equal 1 half. If we're not as familiar with unit circle, it is one thing that is worth memorizing for physics because a lot of those values will get used very regularly in your physics problems. Now, in terms of doing the math on this, one math tip here is that when you're multiplying numbers, as long as you're multiplying everything, it doesn't matter the order in which you do it, so you want to pick an order where the math is going to be as easy as possible. And let's take a look at how we can use that here. 20 times 9.8 is going to be a complex calculation. That's difficult to do in our head. But if we change up the order a little bit, 20 times 1 half is much easier. What is half of 20? If you said 10, you are correct. Half of 20 is 10. So this simplifies to 10 times 9.8. Now for this calculation, anytime you're multiplying something times 10, you can simply move the decimal one place to the right, making our result 98 newtons for the force pulling this object down the inclined plane. But we're not yet done with our problem. You know, they're asking for acceleration. So to figure out our acceleration, we have to use one of Newton's laws, which tells us that our force is equal to mass times our acceleration. And in this case, we've solved for force, and we know the value of mass, so we can plug in those numbers, 98 equals 20 times our acceleration. And we can divide on both sides by 20. And we are left with an acceleration. This, another complex calculation. A way to simplify it, 2 into 9.8 will give us 4.9. So 20 into 98 will give us 4.9 meters per second squared as the acceleration of this object. If you have questions on any of the calculations, feel free to use a calculator to check the work. Otherwise, if you have more questions, see our other physics videos on our YouTube channel or visit our website at www.sandersontestprep.com. The link is in the description below.